it's been a busy month. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So as it is my final upload of July, I am here with my July favourites video where I am going to share with you what I've been loving in July. So it has been a very hot month, I haven't even been able to wear spirit jerseys but I like to wear them for my videos so I am currently really boiling hot, my hair is off my face because it just stresses me out to have my hair down in this kind of weather, I haven't straightened it in about three weeks and I actually kind of miss having it straight so you'll know the videos that I filmed during this heatwave because my hair is curly but even though I personally don't like the hot weather, I know a lot of people do, so I hope you've been enjoying it. The hot weather just makes my migraines worse and I always get heat stroke. Um, no matter what I do, I always get heat stroke, so I just prefer to stay indoors, but it's nice if everyone else is enjoying it. So I'm going to start with what I got from Shop Disney this month. I didn't get a lot, I got a few full priced things, I got a few things in the sale as well. A few more Disney stores have sadly shut down this month. I did manage to visit a store I've never visited before, the Liverpool store, and I have vlogged that so you guys will see that next month. But it is sad that some stores are closing that I never once got the opportunity to go to. I wish they would change their minds on this, but unfortunately it looks like their mind is made up and it appears that they aren't giving much notice either. I've seen some stores put the sign up with about four days to go, so we're not really getting that time to go and say goodbye to these stores either. But this is what I bought. The first item I want to show you I got in store, I got from my local, the Merry Hill Disney store, which I may be biased but I think it's one of the best Disney stores. So I got the mini Cuddlies, if you haven't seen my Cuddlies collection I will leave a card up above, but these are usually £30 and I got her for £15. I've been saying for a while that I don't have much Minnie Mouse in my home because it's all in my car, so because she's pink I've bought her for in the house. So I really really love her. She's obviously regular cuddly style, regular cuddly size and I just absolutely love her. And then the rest of the items I got were New Emo's outfits and I got them all online because most stores don't have many New Emo's outfits and usually the ones they have are ones I already have which again isn't helping the stores. You're encouraged to buy in store and then they're not sending all the stock to the store so you're forced to buy online which I think is very sneaky. I would much rather go to a store see the items in person because I don't really like returning things if I don't like them and talking to the cast members because they are all so lovely especially at my local. So the first three were in the sale, this one is for Mickey, I know I've got other male characters but I basically only dress Mickey and Minnie at the moment. This is from fashion collection number two, I think it was on sale for five or six pounds so you've got a blue jacket, brown trousers and a white shirt so I thought that would be good for Mickey if Mickey and Minnie go on date nights or something. And then I got one for Minnie, again it's from fashion collection number two, it's these really groovy flower pattern shorts, a stripy purple and white t-shirt and a little bag. So that is for if she goes to the beach again, although we did go to the beach earlier in July. And then the final one I think was £8, it's the London Spirit Jersey. So Minnie now has the Disneyland Paris Spirit Jersey, the rose gold Spirit Jersey that just says Disney on it, and the London one. I would like to get her the Disneyland Resort and also the Walt Disney World ones, but it's easier to just get them if I go. Then the next two are slightly newer so I had to pay £9.95. I don't know whether you've noticed but they put the prices up and then the older costumes went on sale and then the newer costumes went back down to their original price. So I don't know what Disney are playing at with new emos, I hope it doesn't mean that they're getting rid of them. I'm really annoyed that we haven't had any new characters since the Winnie the Pooh range. I've had to buy quite a few from Japan and Hong Kong and I'll be sharing those with you in a little haul next month. 
So I got this one from the Cruella range because I'm really into rock music and I really like this outfit. So you've got jeans with like a red camo down the sides. You've got a little biker jacket and then the t-shirt has a little electric guitar on. So again, this is for Mickey. And then finally, this one's from the University Trends range, which I find funny because I work at a university and no one dresses like this, but it's a little green skirt with a blue, green and white stripy blouse, a big blue duffel coat and a black handbag. And I just really love this for Minnie. I especially wanted the coat because I've started to buy outfits with the idea of mixing and matching. Just because they sell them as sets doesn't mean that your new emails have to wear them as sets. So I'm going to start changing her outfits up. And then the final thing, I actually think I got it in June and just forgot to show you because honestly I'm terrible, but this was the Funko 2021 Wondrous Convention Limited Edition and it's the Enchantress from Beauty and the Beast. So you never see merchandise for the Enchantress, so I had to get this. It was £19.99 I believe, which is expensive for a pop and more than I'd usually pay for a pop but there we go and it's got the little logo for 30 years of beauty and the beast so that's shop disney but i did get another funko pop and i got this directly from the funko europe website so this is the japan it's a small world funko i absolutely love these i want to get all four but i thought i would start with japan because i recently got the it's a small world popcorn bucket from tokyo disneyland i thought it would make a great picture you guys won't see that until next month so shh, forget i told you but you can also get kenya united states which is really just hawaii and england but those were the only two funkos i got this month as you know i stopped my pop in a box last year i think i haven't felt the need to get it back to be honest because i don't know where i'd put all those pops if i was getting two pops a month again i prefer trying at least to do just plush content on this channel because that's what i really care about I, I don't see a lot of plush content on youtube unless it's wishables i'm used to seeing a lot of pin content a lot of funko content and i want to put some plush content out there but speaking of plush when me and my mom went down to cornwall at the beginning of july to see my granddad we went into this little independent toy store in mevagissi and i bought this stife pooh bear or rather my mum bought it for me so i've never owned a stife normally they range between about 75 pounds and 200 pounds depending on the size of them i've been looking at the pooh bear specifically the christopher robin pooh bear that's like my grail i've also looked at the olaf i've looked at the goofy i've looked at the sorcerer mickey they are all way out of my price range but they've started doing these little plush guys and it was only 30 pounds so this is my very first Disney Stife and I love him so so much. So he's got the little Stife logo on his ear and then I've kept all his tags on because he's a Stife but I just absolutely love him. He was such a good price. I know he's quite small for £30 but he's a Stife so you know they're gonna be more expensive than regular plush but I absolutely love him. He's so soft. His t-shirt is actually just a part of his body like it doesn't come off and you can't like lift it up or anything they've just dyed that portion of the plush red but i just absolutely love him and then a lovely girl called angela knows that i collect the hard rock cafe pins and honestly if you haven't seen my hard rock cafe pin collection i'll leave a card up above i did manage to get a birmingham one after that video and i really wanted manchester and she was going one day to the hard rock cafe in manchester and asked if i wanted some pins picked up so of course I said yes. They were on sale as well, I think they were £3.95 each. So the first one I got was the 20th anniversary of the Hard Rock Cafe in Manchester. I just really wanted one that had the B to commemorate the Manchester Arena attack. And I just really, really love it. I think the 20th was probably last year, but I don't mind. I don't usually get ones that celebrate an anniversary, but I just really wanted one with the bumblebee on. And then the other one I got, I don't even watch British soaps. Oh, I don't watch any soaps but I also asked for the Coronation Street one because I just thought it was iconic when I went to London they didn't do an EastEnders one and there's no Hard Rock Cafe near Emmerdale I don't think but I just thought this was so iconic and I just had to own it so I've got a Coronation Street Hard Rock Cafe pin now but thank you so much to Ange for picking these up for me 
And finally, my friend Eleanor went on the Disney cruise a couple of weeks ago now and she offered to pick me up a spirit jersey so that I knew I already had one. And because I hadn't announced my trip yet, I was like, you know what? I can use that for the announcement picture. So I announced my trip like this. We did also see the Disney magic when we were in Liverpool, which was really cool, really emotional. You'll see that in the vlogs. But she picked up this Disney Cruise Line spirit jersey for me. So it's like this teal blue, it says Disney Cruise Line on the back with the logo and then the front is incredible. It's got the logo again. It's got a tie front which I think is a really nice touch. I don't usually like people to be able to see what shirt I'm wearing under a spirit jersey but I think it's okay with this. I just absolutely love it. I can't wait to wear it now that I've shown it to you. I actually think I'm going to wear it in my Hello August video so look out for that. But while I'm on the subject of my trip announcement which if you didn't see that I'll leave a card up above. I would just really like to thank you guys for the positive messages I've been receiving. I've obviously had a lot of comments on my video saying you're looking forward to the vlogs. I'm really nervous about vlogging again because I haven't vlogged in the park since September 2019 but I will try my best to bring you some good vlog content. I've had a lot of lovely comments on my Instagram post about it, a lot of people saying they're excited for me, that they're happy for me, that they're I hope I have the best time and I've also been having actual direct messages about how you're looking forward to the vlogs so I really love that I know at a time like this it is very difficult to be happy for somebody else when you are going on trips but the fact that you are happy for me makes me really really happy because I was concerned about announcing that trip I didn't want to come across as braggy I just wanted to let you know what was happening especially because you go in and out of like cell phone range so sometimes I will have enough signal to post on Instagram some days I may not post on Instagram at all so I just wanted you to be aware that I'm going to be a bit MIA in September and I'm really really excited for it so thank you for all of your kind comments and messages and then books I've been reading I've had a really bad reading month I've read four books this month and the one I would love to recommend to you the most is The Comfort Book by Matt Haig. I absolutely love his books. This book centres a lot around anxiety and how he copes with it and there's a lot of references to how people have been feeling in the pandemic as well so I think it will speak to a lot of you. Um, it's not very big some of the chapters are literally a sentence on a page so I got through this really really quickly. I would have got through it quicker if I'd read it on the weekend but I really highly recommend this to you guys. And then as for TV, I haven't finished Loki yet because I've been watching that with my mom. So I'm about halfway through. I will give you my thoughts on that in August. I have started Monsters at Work. I was a little bit disappointed. I have heard people say it's not as good as Monsters Inc which it wouldn't be because Monsters University isn't as good as Monsters Inc either and it makes you think that Boo is what made Monsters Inc so great and as Boo and Sully are my two favourite characters from Monsters Inc then that makes a lot of sense to me as well. I also watched the new series of Atypical on Netflix and I absolutely loved that but the main reason I haven't finished Loki is because me and my mum are watching Sister Wives on TLC. We recently got Discovery Plus so that we could watch all of the series in order because on TLC they just show random episodes in a random order and I'm really really enjoying that. And then if I do watch television in my room I've been watching The Handmaid's Tale on Amazon Prime so I've not been watching Disney Plus and honestly when I'm editing I can't watch something that I really need to focus on anyway and honestly it's a struggle to read a lot, watch a lot and still edit my videos so my videos do usually have to take priority but as I always say now that I am down to two uploads a week things are getting much better for me but that was my do you like favorites video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what has been your highlight of July I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you on Tuesday for my hello August video bye guys <laughs>